Um, so Sunday is usually my relax and planning day. And since uh, I think Helen has something to do uh, this weekend, so I kind of figure, why don't I go live and show you how I do my planner? So in a minute, I'm going to switch my camera and I finally figured out how to switch camera. And so I can show you more um, artwork and how I do Zentango. And I'm starting a session um, on August 5th on Wednesday at three o'clock. So I'm going to teach everyone how to do uh, Zentango, but the purpose is not really so we'll, we'll pick a picture. So I'm, I'm picking Tree of Life. And so basically what I'll do is I'll show you how to do Zentango, but at the same time, it's really in a group coaching format. So you will be asked um, to think about your intention, your vision, your goal. Um, and throughout the whole six weeks of sessions, we're going to work through and having some breakthrough and just finding inspirations um, as coming to a group together. Um, so I've been doing this for quite some time now, and this is my, my previous group is actually ending um, this upcoming week. So I kind of figured this would be a good time to invite everyone, and I am giving a 10% discount. So um, if you're interested, let me know. But okay, so I am going to switch my camera so that you can see how I plan. And I have a little background music for you all today. So hopefully as you're watching this, maybe you'll, you'll find your plan along with me and maybe um, you'll find some moment of peaceful mindfulness that you can enjoy. So I'm gonna move my tea out of the way. And so this is a bullet journal I've been using. And I think last couple of um, a YouTube session ago, I was describing how I found, I started to find values in doing the bullet journaling. And one of the value that I noticed was the index page. So I love the index page because um, I have a tendency to use my journal as a, as a uh, notepad. So I, I keep a lot of junk in here. <laughs> um, if I'm talking and speaking on the phone or taking a class or doing a class, I like to write. And every time I write, it may be um, something just random. It's like, there's no specific sentence. There's no structure on the sentence. So I kind of use it as a brain dump. They call it a brain dump. You dump all your ideas into, into the journal and, and later on you go back and sort it out. So like, you know, I have something here like girl with food allergy. I don't even remember why <laughs> that was a point, but I wrote it down and I also have a section for book to read. And this is a cool thing about bullet journaling and the index page really helped me by identifying, okay, so book to read is on page 27. I go to page 27, there it is, you know, my list of books to read. So it's really cool. I love the index. Um, this way I can write as many junk as I need to. And that's say inspiration. I can look for inspiration and that would be on page eight and page 30. So love the index. And for the weekly, weekly spread, I've been using this weekly spread. Um, so I drew everything myself and I fill in the agenda throughout the week. So I'm gonna turn to a blank page because I actually need to do next week's spread. So, and here are my highlighters. I don't know what color I'm going to pick yet. So we'll see. Move this out of the way. Nope, I don't need that. Pink, maybe a darker pink. Okay. 
And so just a couple of highlighter and I don't know what color theme I want. So this is the brand I'm using. And here is the uni pin. All right. So next week, the week start. Let's see. We are almost in August. Time just fly. I was telling someone earlier this morning that time just fly. So I am going to work on July 27 to August 2nd. So I box them and like, I don't have any, I used to do a lot of uh, doodling in my journal, but now I notice that I don't have a lot of time to do that. So I just do very simply weekly spread to just kind of organize my thoughts and my time. And I always recommend to maybe keep a ruler around so that you can use it to draw boxes. Then I'm going to break this into sections. So I'm using the dotted journal and you'll see little tiny dots on them. And what it does is helps to count the boxes and, and help me to create these, uh, evenly boxes. I used to just use blank pages and that was really difficult because then I lose track of the boxes and they don't look really, they don't really come out evenly. And then I'm going to turn the page over. I'm going to use highlight. So this section would be my quick to do list or like quick reminder of what I need to do. It would be So 
That's my quick to-do list. And here would be my notes. Yeah, so apparently I picked a color theme. My color theme for next week will be blue. And so the rest of the things I will be coloring them blue. And I think I want a little calendar on the top. Let me do a little calendar. And that's August 1st and 2nd. That's what I have so far. There will be three lines. One, two,
So there it is. There you have it. That would be my weekly spread. So that was it. Um, that was my weekly spread. And hopefully it will inspire you to want to do the same for this week. So I will see everyone shortly and I'm going back to planning. Bye.